Hello everyone, I am Dr. Alkesh Agarwal and uh, this lecture is mainly focused on uh, weighted and non-weighted codes. So the contents uh, of this lecture are, in this lecture we will first uh, discuss about the classification of codes uh, which are weighted codes and non-weighted codes. Then we will uh, discuss some examples of weighted codes with standard weights then we'll take on example of weighted codes with arbitrary weights and then we'll discuss about the gray the design of gray codes and access three codes as non-weighted codes so these are the references the first reference is uh, the book digital design uh, authored by M. morris marrow and uh, Michel Rizzoletti and another uh, book is uh, Modern Digital Electronics authored by R.P. Jain. First of all, uh, we'll briefly discuss about the classification of codes according to their weights. So these the codes are being uh, in general classified as weighted codes and non-weighted codes. So if we define in a very layman language that weighted codes are the codes that are designed as per the weight of their bit position. So we'll discuss in detail in the subsequent slides what does this mean. Some examples of weighted codes are BCD codes, binary codes, 8421 codes or 2421 codes, 84 minus 2 minus 1 codes or ASCII codes. Then if we see the non-weighted codes, these are the codes that are not dependent on the weight of their bit position and that is why they are being classified as non-weighted codes some of the very standard examples are gray codes and access three codes now let us uh, try to understand the concept of weighted codes so let us uh, take two numbers in decimal nine and six so when we convert it into binary number we write 9 as 1001 and 6 as 0110 now how do we write this the 9 and 6 as in terms of binary as 1001 and 0110 so let us see this and uh, try to understand the weights the concept of weighted codes so these are the weights of the bit positions this is the lsb uh, the weight of the LSB position 2 power 0 then the weight of the position is 2 power 1 then 2 power 2 and 2 power 3 so these weights are 8 4 2 1 from MSB to LSB so we are representing 9 as 1 0 0 1 now we multiply the bit value with the weight so here we have 1 on at MSB position so we write 1 in 2 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 power 2 plus 0 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 0 and if we sum all these values we get 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 9 so we wrote 9 as 1 0, 0 1 and this is as per the weights of the bit position then again we write 6 as 0 1 1 0 again the same process if we multiply the uh, bit value with the uh, weight of the bit position so it will be 0 into 2 power 3 plus 1 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power 0 so here we have uh, 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6 so uh, in this example we try we try to understand that how uh, according to the uh, weight of the bit position the decimal numbers are being written in terms of weighted codes now uh, this is uh, we take the another example where we'll uh, discuss the concept of uh, weighted codes with arbitrary weights so now we consider two decimal numbers two and three here we are taking some arbitrary weight position so msb the weight of the msb bit is eight then four then minus two then minus one so these are arbitrary weights of the weight position suppose we want to write represent 2 so how we can write 2 as so we write 2 so that the sum of the weights is equal to 2 so if we have 4 plus minus 2 is 2 so we have written 1 
in the bit position with weight 4 and 1 in the bit position of minus 2 if we add the weights we get 2 so we wrote 2 as 0 1 1 0 but this is according to the arbitrary weight but again an example of weight uh, weighted code if we want to write uh, 3 how can we write 3 so 3 will be 4 plus minus 1 so that is why we wrote 0 1 0 1 so if we add the weights of the bit position it comes out to be 3 now let us uh, understand the concept of non weighted codes one of the one of the very standard example is gray code uh, this gray code is also known as self reflecting codes and uh, these uh, these are the codes which are not as per the weights of the bit position so let us discuss why they are being termed as self reflecting codes in step 1 we write 0 1 and we assume a mirror over here so the mirror of 1 is 1 and mirror of 0 is 0 in step 2 what we are doing we are putting 0 as prefix above the mirror and uh, bit 1 as prefix below the mirror so we have these codes 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so this is how we generated a 2 bit gray code again we see we wrote 0 1 with mirror we assume mirror and the mirror of 1 is 1 0 and 0 and we above the mirror we place 0 as prefix bit and below the mirror we wrote uh, 1 as prefix uh, bit so we have these kind of codes now again we write we take these two bit gray codes and here we have placed 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 and we are again assuming a mirror over here so mirror image of 10 is 10 then of 11 is 11 we wrote over here then 01 of 01 mirror image is 01 and of 00 mirror image 00 and now again we see that above the mirror we are placing 0 as prefix and below the mirror we are uh, writing 1 as prefix and now like this we constituted 3 bit gray codes with first code 000 then 001 011 1010 110111101110 and like this we can construct 4 bit gray codes and since the upper codes are or the lower codes are the mirror image upper codes that are that is why they are being termed as self reflecting codes now since they are not uh, based on the weights of the bit position so there is a pattern behind the gray codes what is that pattern if we see if from 0, 0 to 0, 01 we can see the lsb bit is changed and msb bit is unchanged now from 0, 01 to 11 the lsb bit remains un remained unchanged and msb bit changed again from 11 to 10 the lsb bit changed and msb bit remains the same so like this what does it mean that the in gray course if we move from one level to another level only one bit position gets changed and all other bit positions remains the same and that is how these gray codes are being constructed so one of the example or applications of gray code are in Kano maps k maps and they are also being used in uh, memory locations uh, now we'll discuss about the access 3 codes so again these access 3 codes are uh, not uh, dependent on the weights here we have written the decimal number from 0 to 9 these are the binary coded digits in 4 bits so these access 3 codes are being uh, designed by adding 3 to each bcd code so this bcd code is 0000, 0, 0, 0. if we add 3 it becomes 0, 0, 0011 1. so the bcd code for 1 is 0, 0, 0, 0001 if we add 3 we get 0100 0, 0, 0. so like this we have uh, these access 3 codes are being designed and this is another example of non weighted codes uh, thank you. This is all in this lecture. Thank you.